Hey guys, all right, here's the old tap Ruger 10 22 heavy barrel with that Tapco stock I've installed. I've added a few updates on it. I was able to use the same scope and ba rings and bases. Just a matter of uh, swapping the uh, the base around and doing a little bit of fine tuning. You can see it's very close to the uh, barrel and very close to the front fore hand grip, but it still it still works. It's nice and low. Might even be too low. I might have to go to medium rings instead of these lowerings but uh, it runs good I've also added a, a mag pull angled front grip it's okay I had it on my CZ but I pulled it off uh, my CZ to put a stubby on uh, it's okay I really like this big uh, big pistol grip and of course the, uh, the adjustable sliding stock with the angle for the scope so we're going to actually do some shooting with this today and see how it shoots all right thanks guys later all right, guys. I've added a few things onto this uh, 1022. An internal uh, rubber stopper, bolt stop, so it's not nearly as harsh. It's a lot smoother shooting. I've uh, done a little bit of trigger work, and I'm waiting for an extended magazine release because these little guys are, are tough to get out. So uh, let's see how she shoots. I think this is the one bad mag I've got. There we are. I'm shooting Ruger, or not Ruger, Winchester 32 grain coated uh, hollow points. Click. The only thing about the Rugers I wish they had was a uh, a um, bolt hold release in the last round. the most failures I've ever had with this Ruger. Now it's probably these shells. These are the most mouse I've ever had. And these are fairly blunt round fairly blunt round tip. Most of the time I use the uh, zippy Remington Hornets. I think they're Hornets. I'll have to check. I got a Hornet on the box anyway. I haven't bought 22 ammo in years so this is the first uh, ammo I bought in years. I actually went uh, had a gift card from work so I went and bought 100 bucks worth of uh, 22 ammo and uh, shotgun shells just for uh, just for the heck of it. Yeah I'd say it's these 22 shells I've never had uh, this many failures with this gun ever and most of them are failures to feed so it's just I'd imagine it's the uh, design of the bullet, nose bullet or the nose of the bullet I should say One of the major faults of these Rugers is this tiny little release. So like I say, I've got a, an extended release coming out. And also another thing with this, I've loaded these right to the max. Most of the time, instead of 25, it's better just to load up 23. And then uh, functioning is much better.
seen with my last video shooting this gun without the Tapco stock, it just purred through the rounds. So any failures is not due to the rifle or the magazine, but simply the type of ammo I'm using. It's uh, not a super high velocity, and I found with this rifle that the higher velocity rounds, the better it shoots. So there it is, guys. Uh, it's a pretty nice unit. I'm going to hook up the single point sling I got with it and check to show you that, and uh, we'll call it a day shooting.